Well, I told you about my army worm invasion, and they have torn my pastures up, some of my yard up. But there's two different kinds of grasses that they just would not eat. Beautiful grass, not trash grass. Let me show you what it is. It's amazing. This is Bermuda. This is where they absolutely tore it up. And look at this. I don't think they touched a blade of this. This is centipede. Centipede is a beautiful grass. I think it's a southern grass, but it is a beautiful grass. And I don't think they touch, they walk slap around this stuff. They do not like centipede grass. If you're in the south and you want to do something to prevent army worms from tearing you up, uh, you might want to consider centipede or one other grass. Let me show you that. Again, here's the Bermuda grass. Now this is common Bermuda, which doesn't get very tall, thick, but not tall. My pastures are almost all coastal Bermuda, which gets tall, thick and tall. It's mainly for baling hay. It gets real tall where you can bale hay with it real well. This is Bermuda that is another grass entirely. And look at just the line of demarcation that they just came through and said, nope, don't like this, and moved out to the pasture. This is a different kind of grass. I believe it's another southern grass. I don't know how far north you can grow it, but this is St. Augustine. And I need to go ahead and mow this. It's, you know, it needs mowing. But again, a lot of rain. But look how thick this is. And I can't tell that they have touched one blade of this St. Augustine backyard. Most of my backyard, I've got a little bit of centipede over in here that's spreading this way. And uh, most of it is um, St. Augustine. I love St. Augustine grass. It's, it takes a lot of water, a lot of care. You know, it's, it's, it'll winter kill. That's why you can't grow it up north. It will winter kill. I've had several times, I've had to replant grass several times. So I don't, I don't plant St. Augustine anymore. I'm, I'm concentrating on uh, uh, centipede. But if you're planting a southern yard um, and want to stay ahead of army worms, want something that the army worms will walk around and go to your neighbors for, apparently it's centipede and St. Augustine. They're not touching it. They're not touching it. They have killed just about everything else there is out there. Pastures look horrible. Neighbors already started feeding hay. And like I said, with all the rain we've gotten, we ought to have grass everywhere. But the, the army worms have just tore it up. So this is something they won't eat. This is St. Augustine. Centipede, St. Augustine. Two grasses that apparently, at least the army, the army that marched through my, <laughs> the army worms that marched through my property now, Russian army worms may like them. Chinese army worms may like them. Iranian army worms, North Korean army worms. I don't know. They may eat everything, but these were just regular army worms. I don't know what country they're from, <laughs> but they uh, they wouldn't touch it. I I'm just amazed. They would not touch it. Look how green that is. Beautiful. So think about that if you're putting in a yard. You may want to. If you're in the south, you may want to try St. Augustine or centipede because army worms love Bermuda but they don't like this all right thought I'd let you know we're gone